hello hello it is the 3rd of january all right what do we have going on today venus is nicely settling into aquarius the moon is still in gemini uh getting ready to move into cancer i think on the fifth and then we have a full moon on the sixth but nothing major when it comes to transit so we're good we're good for now but let's see what we have with the tarot temperance showed up in yesterday's reading as well oh we have temperance the ace of wands the five of swords similar message similar message to yesterday's let's get a few more Oh, King of Pentacles showed up on the first, I remember clearly. The moon. The Eight of Swords. I'm sorry I sound like this. It is so cold and I feel like I'm coming down with something six of cups all right bottom of the deck the knight of pentacles who did show up yesterday um the page of pentacles the death card three of wands which showed up again the three of swords five of pentacles king of cups goodness hmm with the temperance card i feel like some of us may be trying really hard to stay calm now jupiter is in aries okay which for me is this ace of wands energy and coincidentally aries's ruler mars is retrograding in gemini which almost which significantly reduces um this transit's power jupiter expands everything it touches right it's that magnanimous energy of extravagance and bigness but I feel like the bang that we were probably hoping for when we entered this year, it, it's more like a plop. It's not really a bang. And again, like I said, the reason for that is Mars retrograde and Mercury retrograde. So I feel like we're having to temper ourselves. We may have felt that, all right, you know, we're starting a brand new chapter and things are going to change because my energy has shifted. The atmospherical energy should shift as well it doesn't unfortunately it doesn't always work like that so with temperance we are having to stay calm it's almost like we need to breathe through this okay whatever this is with the ace of wands that desire is there the desire to start something to create something to be a part of something that ignites the fire in us okay but with the five of swords, I almost feel like it is the idea that, like I said earlier, that things need to start with a bang. That is pushing us to do things that may sometimes be a little questionable or immoral. Not always. But the five of swords is a shortcut to success. It is doing anything uh, to feel that kind of mental stimulation or to feel victory of some kind. I don't know what this is regarding for you. Take it how it resonates. But then again, we have the King of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. It's almost like a start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, you know. So it's like we get that drive, we get that motivation and inspiration to do something and then suddenly we are grounded to stay practical and why that is happening is because of the massive shift we are taking from earth to air when when it came to the moon of course but especially when it came to venus venus was in capricorn for a while and that was that this king of pentacles energy investing in self investing in what has longevity what has long-term potential right the knight of pentacles energy slow and steady wins the race and now venus is in aquarius right and venus in aquarius can be a little restless like we may be feeling right now 
this restlessness i don't want it to push us into doing things that we may regret later i don't want to say regret it's a very strong word i don't want us to wear a facade that is absolutely inauthentic to our innermost being okay i was not expecting such a deep reading so early in the morning but this talks about investing in something that is not going to bring you instant gratification this is a delayed gratification but it is like a very sustainable gratification with the moon card showing up now this is we have sagittarius i should mention that and we have pisces cancer with the moon card showing up while we're in this process of waiting okay for things to start for us for that bang it can bring up a whole lot of fears because oh i need to get the door hang on a minute sorry about that it was the gardener okay so like i was saying the moon card can bring up fears because sometimes when we're waiting our mind can be a little empty right and as they say an empty mind is a devil's workshop if this ace of wands is not your own ace of wands if this isn't your type of ace of wands create a new one and it's funny because i was talking to my dad about this yesterday and um, he doesn't live where we are he lives in another country so he he was like i'm bored you know i want family around me and i'm, I'm bored i have nothing to do i'm like and he's a sagittarius so i told him i said if you were here you'd be bored here as well you know so we need to constantly stimulate ourselves and look for things that excite us okay the ace of wands sometimes has to be generated by self it is not always something that's given by the universe and this could be as simple as picking up a random project picking up a gardening project okay picking up a crochet project i don't care just picking up something that excites you while you're waiting for this big bang whatever this is that you're waiting to come about you see with the eight of swords this is waiting waiting and being stuck in your head because you're waiting so the cage is open you can fly whenever you want to fly create something create something and create something that with the six of cups almost pleases your inner child more than your adult self you know it could be something very innocent it could be plucking fruit off trees it could be something you did when when you were a kid something that made you happy knight of pentacles page of pentacles you see the amount of pentacles we have here pentacles is very slow energy and with the death card and the three of wands some of you may be giving up on this that i don't know when this is going to happen for me and some of you may even be waiting for love it is possible you may be waiting for an offer but then again if we start waiting and manifesting from this place you see how interesting this is um the three of wands is a card of manifestation it is the energy of waiting for your ships to come in right if we manifest from this place of pain that i don't have something this this place of loss this is this night is going to get even slower this is about being very whole and very complete within yourself the ace of cups oh what did i say sorry i shook the camera what did i say being whole and complete within yourself the nine of pentacles is your own personal fulfillment this is independence at its finest give yourself that ace of cups if you're here for love if not these aces can be generated by self remember that there's a there's a longing here and make the most of venus entering aquarius it's a beautiful very eclectic and eccentric but very fun energy it takes the pressure off of love you know focus on your childhood friendships focus on just friendships they don't have to be childhood friendships be with people who help you feel free from whatever this is that is weighing you down 
divine timing there's something about divine timing all right gonna use the wisdom of the oracle i finally have it out i didn't want to get an archetype today let's see what we have imagine very pisces energy i'm gonna get one more because um this isn't telling me much except that we need to manifest correctly our thoughts our messages to the universe directly in the universe's inbox the universe doesn't care what we speak it cares about what we think and the, and the vibration that we are operating on happy happy the vibration that we are operating on i don't like people who um spew out um random facts about being happy and optimistic all the time because well that's not practical okay we have go the distance at the bottom what did i say about slow and steady so i'm not talking about fake optimism or fake positivity or just blast like plastering a smile on your face even if you're like losing it from within this is more about doing things that actually make you happy it could be anything wearing your favorite pajamas watching whatever it is that you like to watch and eating popcorn it could be as simple as that that could generate an ace of cups that could generate uh, generate an ace of wands you know what i mean aces in the tarot are not um like i said big bangs they could start with very small things they are ones right they need to be worked on to reach the tens so i feel like with imagine and happy change your vibration change your frequency do whatever you need to do to do that and watch how the universe comes in and delivers those offers and opportunities that you have been patiently waiting for all right that was it i hope this helped see you tomorrow